I took 90 days to find balance in my life and I captured these moments so hopefully you could be inspired to soul blaze your life. I want to introduce you to Brent Marie Jones, the Relationship Warriors. They lead workshops in which they help people with money, marriage, and mindset. As I dig into my own personal transformation, I thought it'd be great to work with them and talk about communication and why we choose certain spouses, business partners, and friends. I want you to do um, a timeline of your life and basically split it like this. There's a line down the middle, anything above. Is that what this is for? Yep. Okay. Anything above the line that made you feel good. Yeah, mm -hmm. and anything below the line that made you feel not so good. Start so, as an example, you know, it might be at age three, um, uh, my mother gave me a hug and gave me a teddy bear, and I felt really good. Okay, and that on a scale for me was sort of about here. Then at age 20, you know, I got this award, and that was really good, so that's way up here. And on the bottom, the same. So, you know, at age three, um, my father left, so that was really bad. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. So, if you can run that out. Uh, across your life and we'll give you about 15, 20 minutes to do that. So Lisa called us and one of the things that she wants us to assist her to address is the transition that she's going to be going through from having been married for a number of years, now she becomes single and then moving forward. Why did you attract the person you attracted? And it's so important to go responsible for your part of the breakup. So we change the statistics next time around. So first marriages, 60%. Second marriages, 75%. Third marriages mm. fail at an 85% rate. And the reason for that is people don't acquire the skills necessary to maintain a relationship for a long period of time. You know, it's not taught at schools. It's not taught in a lot of family homes. There's no skills given. Um, on how to maintain and have an awesome relationship. So, it's, it's, you know, unfortunately it's not their fault. We come into this world like this. We come into this world a blank slate. And then events and things happen to us. And those events and things that happen to us model us and make us into something that we weren't when we were first born. And out of that, we start to make choices based on that conditioning and modeling. And those choices that we make then lead us to certain situations, to certain people, mm -hmm. even down to choosing people because of that modeling. Mm -hmm. So it's important to look at the conditioning, look at, you know, look, look at what happened, look at your part, what happened, mm -hmm. um, and also why you attracted what you've attracted. Mm -hmm. So um, you, you choose differently next time. Yeah. You know, you're awake in that area. Mm -hmm. And that's going to feel uncomfortable. What we want to look at is, you know, he's got his 50% of it. That he bought to the he relationship? Brought 80%. 80%. <laughs> Sorry, 80%. And you've got your 50%, right? Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to have a look at now is okay, how has this set things up in your life for you to pick your ex husband? And if we don't change this, who are you going to pick again? Mm -hmm. Because it won't be the same person, but it's going to be the same patterns, mm -hmm. the underlying patterns in mm -hmm. there and you'll end up arguing over the same type of stuff in the second relationship. Mm -hmm. Was one of these more difficult than the other to write, oh, mum or dad? Yeah. Both Super easy, easy, both, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Just for a moment, step back into that time period and allow yourself to be there. So dad's never around. How did it feel? I don't know. It's hard for me to go back there because he was so strict too. So when he came home, it was just like, oh, dad's home. Right. So it was kind of nicer, oh, dad's gone. So it felt better that he's away at times. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because he was so strict. Yeah. We choose what we know. Yeah. 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 Even even if we, even if it's not good for us. Yeah. At a subconscious level, when you met Lee, mm -hmm. you knew mm -hmm. that that was there. Yeah. Hard worker. You knew how to bring home the bacon. Yes. You know, creative, talented. Yes. yes. Like my dad, I felt was creative yes. and talented. Yes. Yeah. In absolutely. a different way, completely. Yes. But Okay. Uh, my dad was a strong leader and the boss. He was a leader and a boss. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Strong-minded. Yes. Strong-minded. So yeah. looking at this, you married your dad. Yeah. The negative patterns of your father. Yeah, he was temperamental. He was strong-minded. Yeah. What's this one? Uh, addictive personality. So you, you picked him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about picking that pattern? Well, I think it was a good choice. 
So we operate at two levels. One is the cognitive level of understanding. You've got a lot of that because you've done a lot of work in yourself. Mm -hmm. The other is our emotional level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's coming to grips with those emotions on that spiritual path. That's the hard part. Yeah. In realizing, oh my God, this is my part I'm setting up. Yes. One, I picked him because of this. Two, I made it okay. Yeah. Yes, I picked my spouse. And yes, I made it okay. Because to me, it was okay until it wasn't. It became crystal clear to both of us that we'd be better off reframing our relationship. We decided to replace unmet expectations with appreciation and become good co-parents to our daughter. These patterns, if you continue them, you're going to pick someone similar. Mm -hmm. You might be like, I'm never going to pick somebody similar to him. Right. <laughs> like, that ain't going to happen. She needs to feel safe. She needs to feel emotionally safe, physically safe around me, and financially safe. Mm -hmm. Any of those three things are missing, there's going to be a problem in the relationship. In other words, women intuitively can feel the state of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the moment the kingdom's out of balance, she is going to bring that to him and go, this is out of balance. And if he's a wise king, he'll take that on board. If he's not a wise king, he'll shut that down. And which reject then, it. Which then leaves you feeling um, unheard, um, lonely. Which will then shift you into the masculine, which is then when you would have started attacking him. Now, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have felt like you were attacking him. You would have felt like you were just making a point. Mm -hmm. To him, it would feel like attack. So then he would shut down even more. Mm -hmm. And this is what goes on in every and, and relationship. And for a guy, you know, he would be like, I can never please her. No, mo no matter what I do, I never please her. And that's how they see it. So in the next relationship, what you're going to do is the moment that he steps into the feminine, and he will, because he's a guy, we can't be in the masculine state all the time. Mm -hmm. So he will step there. But the problem that that is going to be in the next relationship, the moment he does it, Bang, Lisa's shutter's coming down. And she's going to go and do something else. She's going to go do, be her dad and get herself locked into work. So you did that mm -hmm. pattern really well, mm -hmm. don't you? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> That's where you got it from, him. Yeah, okay. It's a good thing in one aspect in that you can turn it on when you need to work, but it's a bad thing when you're using it as a defense against love because you're all about love. Yeah, love. <laughs> he busted me, but I love my work and I have a very close bond with my work. But seriously, it's hard to invite love into your life if you feel like it might be taken away from you at any time. Many of us choose to bury ourselves in work, obligations, or distractions that keep us from being present in our relationships. To invest in another human can seem risky if we don't uncover our childhood issues around love and acceptance. Learning to love yourself is first and foremost in the healing process, and it's important to develop deep connections with yourself. Once you love and trust yourself, you'll be able to develop bonds with other people, and it's in those relationships that help the soul evolve.